Hello everyone. This is May. Yeah, this is May, the anchor today. And today it is our weekly live show. Uh, the theme of our today, uh, the live show today is the new arrival. Yeah, new arrival. We have a new product. It is called A Procedures. It is uh, it is this one. And uh, uh, it can reach uh, 10,000 nits high brightness. Yeah, 10,000 nits uh, 10, high brightness. And uh, uh, it is totally uh, aluminum cabinet. And uh, uh, later I will introduce the details uh, combined with the real panel. Yeah. And uh, first of all, please allow me to have a brief introduction for our company. Uh, I am from Canvas, Canvas LED. We are a professional LED screen uh, integrated solution provider and we can provide the full solution for your LED screens project. And uh, our products mainly include indoor fixed LED screen, indoor rental LED screen, outdoor fixed LED screen, and outdoor rental LED screen. So if you have any requirement for the LED screen project, welcome to contact our online staff or send inquiry to us. And then we will get in touch with you soon and that can provide the full solution and also can make detailed um, quotation. And then uh, if you are satisfied with our products and satisfied with our quotation, you can place order from us. Yeah. And uh, here I prepared a video. Yeah, I prepared a video of our uh, company. And uh, let's watch this video and then you will have a full understanding for our company. Okay. This video was took by Alibaba, so uh, it is an official video, the introduction video of our company. Uh, this is our office. Yeah, this is our office. Okay, this is our workshop. And this is our Y series outdoor rental LED screen. And our engineer is repairing the LED lamp bit. This is our art series outdoor rental LED screen. And this is our workshop. There are many, many various machines, and they are used to make uh, the LED screen from uh, various raw materials into final finished products. And here is our uh, product aging area. Yeah, product aging area. This is used to test whether the LED screen has any defective parts. In case we found any uh, defective parts, we will do repairment for it in time and to make sure the LED screen is totally no problem before shipping to you. This is our another workshop one. Module uh, aging area, the cabinet aging area, and here is our uh, warehouse. And the package has the glass case and the wooden case. We will do the package based on the LED screen. And here is our exhibition. Yeah, it's our exhibition. And now I am standing here to do the uh, live show for you. And this is our uh, the module of outdoor fixed LED screen. And our customers outdoor rental LED screen. And I ever introduced it for. Uh, several times in my previous live show. Uh, if you are interested, uh, welcome to contact our online staff. We will send the uh, replay link of this product to you. And this is our A series outdoor, outdoor fixed air display. It is totally ground and rear maintenance and also totally uh, aluminum panel. Okay, uh, so the video is finished and uh, uh, I believe you have a full understanding for our company and in case you 
uh, are interested in this video and want to get it, welcome to contact us. We will send the information, uh, send the files you want. Okay, um, today uh, I'd like to introduce our A series, uh, A, A Pro series outdoor fix LD3. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one. Uh, and also, I prepared a video of our April series of the fish every week. And after watch this video, you will have a brief understanding for this product. And uh, later, I will introduce the details uh, combined with the real panel. Okay, first, let's watch this video for your reference. Our April series of the fix every week. With common cancel power supply mode. Okay, this is a test for the uh, fire retardant of the modules. Let's see. And here is a comparison of common module, common plastic module, and our aluminum one. Okay, uh, in my later live show, I will introduce the fireproof. Uh, details. Okay, here is a uh, waterproof test. Yeah, waterproof test. And this page introduced our A Pro series of the Rainbow LED screen can reach uh, 10,000 is high brightness. Okay, super lightweight. And our A Pro series of the Rainbow LED screen supports totally front and the rear maintenance. And here this video shows you uh, the front maintenance. Yeah, front maintenance. And later our engineer will do the real front maintenance in the live show. This is the um, cable box. Yeah, cable box, another design. Okay, here we list the stuff. Here we list some real cases. Yeah, some real. We list some real cases of our eight pro series outdoor fixed LD screen. Okay, now I will uh, introduce the details. Yeah, I will introduce the details of the uh, eight pro series outdoor fixed screen panel. Yeah, combined with this. A real panel and introduce you the details. Okay. Okay. This is our A Pro. Yeah. This is our A Pro series outdoor fixed LED screen panel. And for the size, uh, standard standard panel size is uh, nine hundred and sixty millimeter. Uh, and uh, 960 millimeter and for the size of the panel uh, it is uh, it has many options and it can be customized based on the uh, real situation of your LD screen project okay and for the pixel pitch we can make three pixel pitches P uh, 6.67 P8 and P10 the smaller the pixel pitch is the higher the resolution is, and also the uh, the higher the cost is. So you can choose the suitable pixel pitch based on your budget and based on your uh, requirement. And for the material of the panel, yeah, for the material of the panel, uh, two options. Yeah, two options. Uh, you can choose to make the panel into aluminum, and also you can choose iron panel. Yeah, you can choose iron panel and. Uh, for this panel, it is aluminum panel. Yeah, it is aluminum panel, and the cost of aluminum aluminum panel and iron panel is different. Uh, if you have in mind for the panel material, please let us know. Okay, we will quote you the right price. And uh, this panel is with aluminum. With aluminum panel, there are many advantages. The first one is. Uh, it can make the panel more lighter and more thinner. Uh, the weight of aluminum panel is only yeah. 28 kilogram per yeah. square meter. And uh, for the common iron cabinet, the weight is about uh, 45 kilogram uh -huh. per square meter. 
So uh, with lightweight, it will have a lower requirement for the load bearing capacity of the wall. Yeah, of the wall. And uh, another advantage, uh, it is more thinner. The whole thickness of this panel is only uh, yeah. 75 millimeter. Yeah, only yeah. 75 millimeter. And if you choose to um, install the LED screen on the wall, okay. the final whole thickness from the surface of the wall to the surface of the LED screen will be uh, much thinner. Yeah, will be much thinner. And also uh, with aluminum panel, it will have uh, good heat dissipation. So uh, no need actual uh, cooling fans or air conditioners, and uh, you can uh, it can also save you much cost. I think. And uh, you see here. This two, this one, this and this, they are the location pins. Location pins, they are used to uh, make sure the up and down panels can be aligned with each other very well when you do the installation. And uh, uh, let me show you the side. Okay. You see there are uh, some holes for this hole and this hole, uh, these two holes are used to fix the screws, yeah, to fix the left and the right panels with each other by the screws. Uh, of course, when you do the installation, um, you, you will use the extra connect, uh, connecting plate and the screw as a corner to uh, fix the panels with each other. And uh, uh, finally, the splicing will be totally seamless. Yeah. Okay, let me show you the back. Okay, for our A Pro series, our fixed LED screen, uh, it is with cooling system. Yeah, it is with cooling system. And the how to reach the cooling system? Uh, the first one is uh, the power supply, the power supply mode for our A series, uh, A Pro series, our fixed LED screen. Uh, we use the common cancel power supply mode. Yeah, we use the uh, common cancel power supply mode. Uh, this is the new technology, and with this technology, um, it will reach uh, low power consumption, and also uh, the working temperature will be also low. And another uh, another aspect is you see here. Uh, this is the back of the module, you see. There are six modules uh, on one panel, and here is the back of the power uh, power supply box. You see, we do the uh, heat dissipation design here. You can see, with this design, uh, it can increase the air contact area, so it can reach good heat dissipation, okay? And you see, uh, among uh, among the modules, there are uh, there are several uh, safety ropes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For these safety ropes, they are used to uh, protect the modules from dropping when you do the maintenance. Yeah, when you do the maintenance. And later, uh, when we do the maintenance, we will do the maintenance in the live show, and then we will show you the function of the safety rope. And uh, <clears throat> Here is the uh, power supply mo uh, power supply box. Yeah, power supply box, and uh, uh, it is also in totally aluminum, so it will uh, it will with good heat dissipation. And uh, uh, for the power supply box, uh, it is totally too free to open. It. You see, it is fixed by two buckles. Here, this buckle and that buckle. Uh, it is fixed by two buckles, so uh, no need extra tool to open it. You can use your hand to open it directly, okay? Now I will show you to open the... Okay, you see, uh, the, power, the power supply box is open and out, and I will show you the details. I will show you the details inside. You see, uh, the yellow. Yes, yeah, the uh, this is you. You you can see here is an uh, integrated uh, hub board, and it is in yellow. And uh, with this integrated whole uh, hub board, 
uh, there are two advantages. The first one is it is helpful uh, to conduct the electricity. And uh, mm, so uh, it can uh, make sure the voltage distribution will be much more uniform. And also uh, the color distribution of the modules will be more better. So uh, the final display effect will be much better. And here you see uh, there are some uh, cables. You can see there are some cables, and uh, uh, inside the cables, it uh, they are with soft copper. Yeah, they are with soft copper, and it is much thinner. Uh, uh, it's much thicker. Yeah, it is much thicker than uh, common copper. And with this soft copper, uh, uh, it it, uh, it is helpful. Uh, yeah, it is also helpful. Uh, to conduct the electricity and uh, of course with this soft copper the cost is a little higher but the quality is much better and also it uh, it can make sure the final uh, display effect uh, is much better and also mm, the, the quality is also much better <laughs> yeah and uh, here mm, you see this is the receiving part uh, receiving card from Nova Star, Nova Star, A5S Plus, yeah, A5S Plus, and the receiving card is totally hard connection. So, uh, the maintenance of the receiving card will be much more easy. Uh, and uh, with this A5S Plus receiving receiving card, it is with uh, lower, uh, smaller size and uh, higher uh, capacity. Yes. And here you see there are two power supplies inside, and uh, um, for the power supply, uh, the the box, yeah, the power supply box is also totally aluminum. So, uh, with aluminum material, the uh, heat dissipation will be much better. Also, and uh, for the power supply, uh, it is from Minwell. Yeah, it is from Minwell, and uh, maybe you know the Minwell. Uh, is the best power supply supplier and their quality is also the best and uh, 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 for the power supply it is with common cathode power supply mode and uh, with this uh, with this uh, power supply mode I will introduce it in detail later and for the power supply uh, we uh, it is certified yeah it is certified and we have the certificates of this power supply and if you uh, have been, uh, have requirements for the power supply certificates, we can provide them. Yeah, we can provide them. And if you need the certificates, welcome to contact our online staff and or send inquiry to us. And uh, then we will send the information you want. Okay. Uh, okay. So, uh, yeah. And here around, you see the, the, the around around the door, yeah, around the door of the power supply uh, box, there is the there is black uh, rubber ring. Yeah, you see around the door there is black ring, and uh, uh, it is the waterproof rubber ring, waterproof rubber ring. And with this waterproof rubber ring, when you close the power supply. It can make sure the door will be closed more soon, and then it can reach a better waterproof function. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you see, uh, this power box uh, is totally too free to open it, so you can do uh, easy maintenance from backside for the power supply to do the maintenance for the power supply to uh, and the receiving part and many other uh, spare parts. Okay. Now I will close it. I will close it. Okay, and uh, there is another design. It is the cable um, cables box. It means here. You see, uh, maybe you are confused. There is no cables. Yeah, there is no power cables and the signal cables. Where are they? Here, they are inside this cables box, and uh, we designed this to make sure the panel will be uh, much more beautiful. Yeah, will be much more beautiful. And uh, for this cables box, it is also totally too free to open it. And here you see there are two buckles here. One, 
two, yeah, there are two buckles, and we are also totally too free to open this cable box. Okay, now I will open this cable box to show you the inside. You see, here, here is the uh the power cable, and here is the here is the signal cable, and also uh here is the signal cable uh, cable and power cable, and uh, you can see the uh the, the the mark here. Uh, this uh this side is the power in and the signal in, and that side is the power out and the signal out. So. So when you do the installation, when you do the installation, you can connect the left and the right panels uh, to connect the power cables and the signal cables. Use this. Uh, for that one, the cable is long enough. Yeah, the cable is long enough. And uh, the cable, oh, you see, it can be taken out easily. And uh, here, there is a hole here. There is a hole here, and uh, when you do the installation, you can make the hole, uh, make the cable across this hole. Yeah, you see, across this hole, and then uh, use this to uh, output the power cable and the signal uh, signal cables. Connect the uh, the input power cable and the a single cable at uh, on the panel at this side, and then you can close this. So, uh, you will see it is totally uh cableless design. Yeah, it will it will be a cableless design from the back side, and it will be much beautiful when you finish the final installation. So, this is the function of the uh, cables box. Okay. <clears throat> Let me put the cables inside. The hole is big enough to uh to cross the cables. So please don't worry about <coughs> it. Okay, uh, now I have introduced all uh, the details of the panel and uh, if, you, if you have any questions for the panel or you are still confused for the panel, uh, welcome to tell me, yeah, welcome to leave your comments in the live show and I will check and reply to you in the uh, live show directly, okay? Uh, so. Uh, so, uh, if you have no question, I will uh, move forward for our uh, live show, okay? Okay, uh, at the end of the live show, I will, uh, I will Lighten. I will lighten this panel and show you the blindness, okay? Uh, and now, uh, let's move to the next part. Just now, I introduced that our A Pro Series Outdoor Fixed LED screen is with common tensile power supply mode. And what is common tensile? It means the common tensile power supply mode and the, uh, the R and GB lamp fits are powered separately. Yes. And here are the two comparison of the uh, power supply mode and uh, in general, yeah, in general, we use this power supply mode and it is called common anode power supply mode. And uh, uh, with this power supply mode, they, you see, the uh, RGB LED lamp fits are powered uniformly. And, uh, but uh, maybe you know the power of uh, the voltage requirements the voltage requirements of the red uh, lamp fits and the green blue uh, lamp fits are different the uh, voltage requirement of the uh, red lamp fits is 2.8 volt and the voltage requirement of the green and blue lamp fits is 
uh, 3.8 volt. So with this power supply, uh, power supply mode, the uh, three RGB uh, LED lamp bits are powered uniformly, and in this way, it will cause a waste of the power uh, consumption. And uh, here, we use this common cathode uh, power supply mode for our A Pro series, and with this. Uh, yeah, it is a new technology, but uh, the, the technology and the quality has been stable. And so please don't worry about the, uh, the quality of this technology, okay? Uh, with common cancel uh, power supply mode, uh, it can reach a lower power consumption, and also the working temperature will be much lower. So it is also helpful uh, for our cooling system. Yeah. And here we... Uh, we list a uh, calculate for the power supply with this common castle design. Uh, 10,000 gram is uh, the white balance corresponding to the maximum the maximum power power consumption is here. This is the power consumption is only uh, 550. And with this uh, 7,000 gram is uh, here is the uh, power consumption and uh, maybe you can have a, com a comparison for the uh, common anode uh, power supply outdoor fixed LED screen. The maximum uh, power consumption, I think, is about 1000 watts. Okay, so with this uh, common Tesla power supply, uh, our A, -ser uh, A Pro series outdoor fixed LED screen. Mm -hmm. It's much more energy saving. Yeah. It's much more energy saving, and also I think this is helpful for you to see the cost of the electricity. Okay, let's move to the next part. The simple maintenance. Yeah, our A Pro series outdoor fixed LED screen supports totally from and the rear maintenance, and it means. You see here, uh, I uh, put an image. Yeah, I put an image to show you. The module can be uh, taken out from front side, and also the module can be taken out from back side. And uh, mm, now uh, I will ask the help for from our engineer Mike. He will show you the maintenance, the front maintenance, and the back maintenance of our A Pro series outdoor six LED screen. Okay, hey Mike, please say hello. Hello. Uh, he is Mike, and he has the experience of uh, LED screen for over ten years. Oh, uh, uh, Okay, now I we will show you the back maintenance first. Okay. You see. Mm -hmm. Here, there are six modules, and the modules are uh, fixed on the panel by uh, four buckles and four screws. You see here, this, uh, uh, yeah, this one, two, three, four. Yeah, one, uh, one module has four screws, and when you need, when you want to do back maintenance, you just need to use the uh, screwdriver to remove these four screws and then uh, use this two, yeah, use this two. And then for this two, it, is, uh, it belongs to a standard configuration and this is used to do front and rear maintenance. Yeah, and we will send this two with, uh, with the products together and this two is totally free, yeah, we will send you free and we will uh, want to do the back maintenance firstly. You, uh, yeah, mm, I'm not sure uh, whether you can see the details here. You see here. Here. One, two, three, four. Yes. Uh, there are four uh, small buckles. Yeah, there are four small buckles to fix the modules and also four screws. Uh, to fix the buckle, uh, to fix the modules, and uh, when we do the uh, back maintenance, uh, we will need, we will use this tool to open the four small 
buckles firstly and then use the screwdriver to remove the four screws in the uh, okay now our engineer will show you how to do the uh, back maintenance okay our engineer will remove the screws first <laughs> Here we use the automatic screwdriver, so the operation is much more easy. Okay, you see the four screws are removed now, and now we will use this tool to open the four small buckles. Uh, you see, it is, it is finished. Very, very easy to operate. And now, just to uh, push the module and then take it out from the back side. You see, this is the function. Yeah, this is the function of the safety rope. With this safety rope, it can protect your, uh, yeah, it can protect the module from dropping when you do the maintenance. And, uh, and here, this is one module of a Pro Series out of 6L screen, and uh, the size is uh, four uh, 480 millimeter by <laughs> by uh, uh, 320 millimeter. Yeah, this is one module, and you see here uh, at the corner there are four small buckles, and these four uh, small buckles. Yeah, and you see, uh, now this is a two. Okay, can you see? This is a two. This is a two. Uh, and this two is used to uh, open, uh, to lock and unlock the small buckles. And just now, we use this two to uh, to unlock this from backside. You see? Okay, can you? So it is. Uh, really very easy to operate and uh, uh, also there is a hole oh, there is a hole here and this hole is uh, corresponding to this to this buckle and uh, use this to you see you can also uh, lock and unlock these buckles from front side yeah and this is the function of this small tube, okay? And uh, you see, uh, just now I introduced this design and this design is uh, to increase the air contact area and then it can reach good heat dissipation. And also uh, the module, the module is with totally aluminum, so it is with good heat dissipation. And here, you see here, one, two, uh, three, four. There are four location pins, and these four location pins are used to make sure the uh, module can be aligned with the panel. And there are four holes. There are four holes, and these four location pins are aligned with these four holes. And then you can install the module uh, at the right place. And also, you see. This is the interface. Yeah, this is the interface of the module, and uh, you can see it is totally cableless connection. Yeah, cableless connection uh, can make sure the signal and the power uh, are transport more stable. Yeah, are transport more stable, and also it can make the maintenance more easier. Yeah, the maintenance will be more uh, convenient, and also. Mm, when you install, yeah, when you install the modules, one detail you need to pay attention. It is the place of the modules. You see, there are six modules, three left modules and three right modules. And when you install the modules, uh, the positions of the uh, three right modules can be uh, can be exchanged with each other. And uh, the positions of the left three modules can be exchanged with each other. But, but, the place of the left and the right modules cannot be exchanged with each other. So, uh, 
how to distinguish the right position of the module here okay here you see there uh, there are two arrows yeah there are two arrows and here here is the arrows and also here is the arrows and the uh, these arrows are used to guide the right direction of the module. And uh, when you install the module on the panel, you need to make sure the arrow is upward, okay? When you install the module on the panel, we need to make sure the arrow is upward. And then you will not mix the places of the modules. You see? The arrow, the arrow should be upwards. So when you install the uh, module on the panel, it must be at uh, at this side. Okay. So uh, now I will show you how to uh, install the module on the panel because our engineer has something to do with. So he uh, left, and now I will show you how to do the front uh, the front installation, uh, front maintenance, and back maintenance. Uh, just now we have removed the module from back side and now I will show you how to install the module from back side, okay? Okay, okay to make the module cross from back side and then put... Oh, oh yeah. We need to lock this safety rope, okay? We need to lock this safety rope firstly uh, to give good protection. To give, uh, to give good protection of the mod. We need to make it cross from that side. And then... Use this tool to uh, lock the four small buckles. Okay, so just now we'll show you how to do uh, back maintenance for the modules and uh, for the power supply and the receiving part, uh, you just need to open the power supply, uh, power supply box uh, to open the two buckles and uh, to open this door and then you can do maintenance for the power supply and receiving part from back side, okay? So next we will show you how to do uh, front maintenance for the modules. Okay, still we will use this, we will use this more to, to find the holes. Yes, this hole. <laughs> okay, we need to uh, find the four small holes firstly, and then use this small tool to, uh, to unlock the four small buckles. And then you can remove the module from the front side. So, so you see, you see, uh, you see uh, now the module has been taken out from the front side, and with this safety rope, it protects the module from dropping. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, so now we have removed the module from front side and uh, you see, you can check this interface. Yeah, this interface is corresponding to the interface of the module, you see. They are totally cableless connection. Yeah, just now I have introduced the, uh, the advantage of cableless design. 
and around around this interface. Yeah, around this interface, there is waterproof rubber ring also. You see here. This rubber ring is uh, in white. Yeah, this rubber ring is in white, and with this rubber ring, it can also um, make sure the module uh, can be connected with the uh, panel more still. And also, uh, it is also um, another waterproof design. Yeah, another waterproof design. And uh, okay, maybe you can see this detail. This detail. Uh, this is the power box. Yeah, this is the power box, and the, the power box is an uh, integrated part. Uh, it can be removed uh, wholly. Yeah, it can be removed wholly from front side. And how to remove it? You just need to remove the screws. You see, this power box is fixed on the panel by 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 the screws. And just now we only um, we only remove the one module, so you only. Uh, see this one detail. You see there are two screws, and after we, uh, if we remove the six modules, you will, you will, you will see the power box is fixed on the panel by six plate, and just remove these screws, and then you can take out the power box from front side. So, uh, this is the process of the front maintenance. It means our A Pro Series Outdoor Fix LED screen. Supports totally front maintenance. Maintenance, yeah. Totally front maintenance means the modules, the power supply, the receiving card, all can be taken out from front side. And uh, uh, maybe for some other vendors, they also said their outdoor fixed LED screen supports front maintenance. Then you need to check whether their power supply and the receiving card also can be taken out from front side. Okay. Okay. So uh, now we have shown you how to do the front maintenance and back maintenance. Let's move forward to introduce the details of our A Pro Series Outdoor Fixed LED Screen. Okay, uh, our A Pro Series Outdoor Fixed LED Screen. Uh, the protection grid is IP66, IP66, and it is totally waterproof and fireproof. And here, uh, here is uh, just to show you, yeah, just to show you the waterproof. And uh, uh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure whether you remember. Uh, this is a. Uh, this test is shown in the. Uh, introduction video of a pro series of the fixed LED screen, and uh, here we do the test. Yeah, we do the test to use the uh, the water flash the whole panel, and the panel is totally no problem. So our a pro series of the fixed LED screen is totally waterproof, and also here we have the certificate. Yeah, we have the certificate and the test support for the uh, waterproof design. So this waterproof design is certified, and you don't need uh, worry about for our waterproof quality. Okay, and also if you are interested in this certificate or you want to get it, welcome to contact our online staff uh, or send inquiry to us, and then uh, we can make the pro solution, the all-in-one solution based on your demand, and also uh, we can send the files you want. Okay. Also, uh, our A Pro Series outdoor fixed LED screen is totally, uh, you see, uh, it's totally uh, fireproof, and the fire rating is five BB. Yeah, it's five BB. And also, we did a test. Yeah, we, we did a test for the fireproof, and uh, yeah, it is a video. You can you can see. This is the plastic module, and this is our A Pro Series aluminum module. And they are oh, it is too fast. Let's watch it again. They are burned by the candle, and about two minutes later, you see this plastic module has been burned out and deformed. But our uh, A Pro Series uh, aluminum 
module is totally no problem and has no damage. And uh, for the black part, uh, it can be wiped out easily. So um, here, this test is to show you uh, our fireproof quality, okay? And also with this fireproof uh, quality, we also have the certificate. Yeah, we also have the certificate and the test port. Test port. And uh, uh, if you uh, are interested in it, welcome to contact our, uh, our online staff and we can send the certificate to you, okay? Okay. Next part is the customized design. Yes, the customized design. Uh, you see, this is the corner. Yeah, this is the corner of the panel. Yeah, this is the corner of the panel, and uh, we can reach. We can reach. <clears throat> we can reach ninety corner cut. Yeah, we can reach uh, ninety corner cut for the for the panels. You see, just to remove remove this part, and the two panel can be uh, sliced with each other, and to reach uh, ninety degrees corner cut. Yeah, and also we can reach uh, curved design. Yeah, we can reach curved design just with this part. Yeah, just with this part. You see, just with this part, we can reach the curved design. So with uh, with this design, uh, we can meet different requirements of different clients uh, demand for the LED screen project. Yeah. And the next point is the brightness. Yeah, is the brightness of our A Pro series of the fixed LED screen. At the beginning of our live show, I introduced that our A Pro series of the fixed LED screen can reach high brightness. 10,000 is high brightness. Yeah, 10,000 10, is high brightness. And here, uh, this is uh this is an uh, LED screen of our A Pro series, and uh, we use a device to test the brightness. You see, it is over ten thousand. And uh, okay, here uh we will lighten our this panel to show you the high brightness. Okay, mm, I will ask help from our engineer to lighten this panel. Also, we will lighten this panel. Uh, firstly, to install this module on the, on the panel. Okay, first of all, let's install this module on the panel and then we will uh, connect the power cable and the signal cable, uh, cable uh, then lighten this panel to show you the high brightness. Mm -hmm. okay, now we uh, we need to take out the cable and then connect it. Okay, now let, uh, let's connect the power cable firstly. Push her means yet. Okay, uh, now we have uh, we just uh, uh, lighten the panel so it is no need to connect the signal cable. We just connect the power cable and lighten this panel. Okay. 
Uh, now we uh, stand in the exhibition and facing the panel. It is really uh, make uh, the eye uncomfortable. Yeah, uncomfortable. But maybe you uh, you cannot you cannot check the high brightness through the camera. Yeah. Hey, can you see? Hey. Um, uh, or you can have a comparison for our this panel and this panel. Yeah, this is also an LED screen panel. Can you Uh, for our A Pro series of the fixed LED screen, it is really very light, and the brightness of this panel is over ten thousand nits now. And now I will. Press the button to change the color. Okay. Uh, at the back, at the back of the panel, there is a button to test whether the panel can uh, display the uh, display different colors. And this is the red, green. And blue, yeah. The uh, red, green, blue are the basic three colors RGB, yeah, RGB. And with these three uh, colors, the air, the LED uh, screen can play colorful videos or the images. Yeah. Okay. So uh, with our A plus, uh, because now we have no device. Yeah. We have no device to test the brightness in the light show directly. Uh, by the way, we have we have this data. Yeah, we have this data, and this data is uh, is tested in our uh, factory. Yeah, in our factory, and now we have no device in our excavation, so cannot uh, use the device to test the brightness here. But please. Um, Believe us, yeah. Please believe us. Our A Pro series of fixed LED screen really can reach over ten thousand nits high brightness. Okay. So, uh, for our A Pro series of fixed LED screen, uh, I have introduced all the details. Yeah, I have introduced all the details. Our uh, A Pro series of fixed LED screen uh, is with common castle power supply mode, so it is. Uh, very uh, energy saving, and uh, uh, for the panel material, uh, there are two options: aluminum panel and iron panel. And uh, please tell us your requirement for the panel material if you have the mind for this. And uh, mm, and uh, it can reach high brightness over ten thousand nits, and uh, it is uh, IP sixty six. It is IP66, totally waterproof and fireproof. And uh, uh, and I have introduced all the details of the April series in my this live show. Yeah, in my this live show. And if you have, if you still have any question for our this model, you're welcome to leave your comments in the live show directly, and then I will check and reply to you in the live show directly. Or uh, for the friend uh, that we often will watch our live show through the replay link. Uh, if you have any question for the April series of the fixed LED screen, you can you can contact our uh, online staff or send inquiry to us, and then we can reply to your any questions. Okay. And uh, here I'd like to introduce our uh, warranty. Our warranty is. Put it back. No, no, come here. Oh. <laughs> oh, maybe. Chopper, chopper. This. Chopper, chopper. Come, come here. This one, this one, chopper. Turn it back. Okay. Just now, our A Pro series of the fixed LED screen is lightened, and uh, it is so light, so you cannot see the. Uh, contents in our this LED screen. So I closed the. So I closed the A Pro series of the of the uh, 
from the panel and then you can watch the talk. And then you can watch the details of our warranty showing in this and this going okay. We can provide five years warranty and for uh, common other vendors they only provide two years. Yeah, maybe two years warranty, but we can provide five years warranty and uh, uh, it is valid from uh, the purchasing date. Yeah, the purchasing date and during five years we are responsible to do replacement or do maintenance for the defective parts. Yeah, and this service is free. And uh, there are many uh, many contents inside the warranty terms and we have an official uh, official file for the warranty term and uh, with stamp and with signature. If you want to know more details of our warranty terms, uh, welcome to contact our online staff or send an inquiry to us and then we will send this file to you. Okay? Mm, so, uh, welcome to follow us. Okay, welcome to follow us. Please hit the follow and follow us. Then you will get the newest information uh, such as the new product or the promotions or any other uh, information in future. And uh, it's time to say uh, goodbye today. So let's watch the next live show, okay? Welcome to follow us. Then you can also get the uh, future live show's time in advance. Okay, see you. Bye-bye. Oh,